this young lady's going to let us do a video, but she comes in here with uh, cyclical vomiting, and she has a history of using marijuana, and I think the diagnosis is hyperemesis cannabinoid syndrome. She doesn't get improvement with uh, hot showers simply because she hasn't even known about it or thought about it, but that's typical uh, for, the, for this particular syndrome. First of all, you're okay with me making this video as long as I mask your face, right? And um, can you tell me though roughly uh, how many times a week you're, you, you, do, you smoke marijuana? Four times? Five times? Okay. And then um, looking back at your medical records, you've been here multiple times or in different ERs with um, nausea and vomiting and belly pain. And, um, and that's exactly why you're presenting here today. So the, the purpose of this video is to really actually demonstrate the, the benefit of Haldol, IV Haldol. How sick are you right now, sweetie? Really bad? And are you having belly pain? Okay, and you know, there's your emesis basin there, so. All right, well, we're gonna be giving you uh, the Haldol, and I'm gonna come back in after you get the Haldol and the Benadryl and uh, we're gonna check and see how it helps you, all right? Oh, I'm gonna do some vomiting. And again, we'll, we'll mask your face. And, all right, I'll, t I'll stop this for right now. So some, sometimes the uh, Haldol is actually just give an IV push, five milligrams. A lot, of, a lot of our nurses like to just put it in a 500 cc bag and let it go with uh, 25 of Benadryl, but I usually do about five milligrams of Haldol. Um, actually, it's ironic that in this actually in this in this very same room, we just had um, another patient last night with exactly the same complaint, and uh, and turned out to be a hyperemesis, and she got just a dose of uh, Haldol, um, five milligrams, and, and nothing else uh, with uh, besides the Benadryl, and she had an, like immediate recovery from that, so went home feeling fine. All right, the camera's rolling, so. Um, it's probably been what an hour now. You were you've been sleeping because I think the fentanyl knocked you out too. Mm -hmm. But um, you, uh, when I left, um, probably an hour, an hour and a half ago, and I've checked on you a couple times in between, but you were still vomiting. Mm -hmm. um, that that was just as the Haldol was starting to go in. So so anyway, that that you just basically after you got the Haldol, you stopped vomiting. Your belly pain went away, and um, and you're actually feeling like you're ready to go home. All right, so we didn't do anything more than just really the Finnegan one time, which didn't work, and then we gave you the five milligrams of Haldol. The marijuana issue, though, you'll you'll cut back on the marijuana or stop it for a while, and because uh, I think that's that's appears to be the problem here, and uh, uh, so now we, now you know what's going on. So we're going to get you home because you're still tired. It's it's getting late in the evening, and I think that Finnegan has got you feeling sleepy. So I'll just need you to sign a release on this. All right. All right, thank you.